What's up awesome YouTubers, Ryan1988 or Justin back here to do a video for you guys and today is my end of the month update for March. Um, it's actually uh, close to the end of the month. Um, it's not actually uh, March 31st. However, I had some free time today and I wanted to do my update. Um, there's about four other movies coming in the mail uh, that I have not gotten yet, um, but they will be at the or in my next update at the end of April's uh, movie update. So, but I have a lot of titles here. This is stuff that I've collected over the last, uh, or the last of February, and then uh, what I've gotten so far in March. So, and it's a pretty big stack of movies. I was not expecting to get all of this, but yes, there is that. Um, but I got some really good deals on a lot of this stuff. So I'm gonna go through this. Hope you guys enjoy this update. Uh, the first one I'm going to show is actually one I just got in the mail today, and this is one of my favorite 80s slasher movies. I absolutely love it, and it is Don't Go in the Woods. Um, really campy and cheesy, but one of my favorite slasher movies, and this is from Vinegar Syndrome, and I love their releases, the, the ones I've gotten so far, which is this and uh, Graduation Day. And I love what they did with Graduation Day's picture and sound quality. It's the best that's movies ever looked. And it came with great bonus features. And I'm hearing nothing but good things about this release. So can't wait to check it out. Uh, I'm looking forward to rewatching this on Blu-ray, checking out the picture and sound quality, and then watching the bonus features. And what I love about this release is that it does come with a DVD and Blu-ray. So that is really awesome. Um, another thing I love about most of their releases is that they, is that they come with the classic um, artworks. And uh, I've always loved that artwork for Don't Go in the Woods Alone. So, just a great movie. Um, like I said, really campy, really cheesy, so good it's bad type of slasher movie. But I absolutely love this film. Uh, the next one I'm going to talk about is one that I got last month, but it didn't come in the mail until... Um, the last of uh, uh, the last week of February, basically, and I don't think I showed this in my last update, but it's Whiplash, uh, one of my favorite movies of last year. Um, I didn't see this in theaters. They, I don't think any of my theaters got this movie, um, but I saw it when it came out on Blu-ray, and I've seen this movie twice already. And like I said, it is one of my favorite movies of last year absolutely love this film. If you have not seen it yet, definitely check it out. Uh, J.K. Simmons definitely deserved the uh, best Oscar for supporting actor. Um, and this movie deserved the nominations that it got. Uh, my only complaint is that I wish Miles Taylor would have gotten some type of nomination because I thought he did a great job and this is by far his best movie I've seen him in so far. Um, I've really grown to like him as an actor. I think he's a great actor. And uh, he's been in some really good movies. You know, I'm a fan of Divergent. I liked uh, some of his other films that came out, The Spectacular Now. And I'm looking forward to seeing Insurgent and then seeing Fantastic Four when it comes out. So, but Whiplash, if you haven't seen it yet, definitely check it out. It's worth picking up and buying, in my opinion. I loved it. Uh, the next one that I got was Hunger Games, The uh, Hunger Games Mockingjay, Part 1. And I didn't see this movie in theaters. I didn't see any of the other ones in theaters. And I really just didn't have time to see this in theaters. So I decided to wait until it came out on Blu-ray. And I know people gave this mixed reviews. They said, you know, there's not a lot of action in the movie, which is true. And I think people wanted that. They wanted that action in the film. Because when you watch the trailer to this film, you think there's going to be a lot of action sequences. And there really isn't. This is kind of just building up to the action that's going to take place in part two. Um, but I loved it. I, you know, I, I love the first, I love part two and I love this one. Uh, I liked, well, I love Catching Fire and I love Mockingjay. And I really enjoyed the first movie. Um, and I like the fact that this one's kind of building up to the action. You know, you got a really good solid story here. Um, I love the fact that a lot of the actors that were in the previous movies that really didn't get a lot of attention are now getting the attention, like uh, Liam Hemsworth character. Um, I think he had a bigger part in this movie. Um, but I love it. I, I think these movies... I, I like Catching Fire. That's my favorite one, the second movie. But I'd have to say Mocking Jay is probably my second uh, favorite Hunger Games movie so far. 
and I'm looking forward to seeing the last installment in the series, you know. When the first Hunger Games came out, I wasn't the biggest fan of it, but after I saw Catching Fire, I rewatched the first movie, and I really liked it. So I became a big fan of this series when I saw Catching Fire. I just think that movie is excellent, and I really enjoyed this one a lot. So if you haven't seen it yet, um, don't expect a lot of action in the movie. Um, there are some cool sequences, but it's more story-driven, and in the second movie, or the, the last movie, which is going to be Part 2, Mockingjay, I think we're going to have a lot more of that action in it. So, But yes, had to pick this up day one, loved it. Uh, the next one I got was the new release of The Breakfast Club. This is the 30th anniversary edition with the uh, digitally remastered and fully restored 35mm um, 35 mi 35 original film elements uh, edition of uh, The Breakfast Club. And I love this Blu-ray. I watched this last night. They cleaned this up awesomely. Uh, that's not even a word, but they cleaned it up and I loved it. I thought this movie looked fantastic on Blu-ray. It sounded fantastic. There were things that I was hearing for the first time that I've never heard in this movie when I'd watched it on DVD or VHS. Um, and I saw things that I, I noticed little things that I never saw before. So they really cleaned this up. Um, I didn't even know that they were re-releasing re this on Blu-ray. Um, so when I went to Walmart and I saw it for $14.99, I had to pick it up. If you're a fan of this movie and you want a really good quality Blu-ray, because I hear the previous releases aren't that great on Blu-ray, uh, pick this one up. And if you have those Blu-rays, this is worth upgrading, uh, upgrading to, um, especially for the price that you can get it for at Walmart. So loved it. I'm glad it came with all bonus features. This this looks like a lot of previous bonus features, but. I'm still happy that they transferred these bonus features from the uh, special edition that DVD that came out about five years ago. Um, but The Breakfast Club, if you haven't seen this movie, um, which I'm pretty sure you guys have, but if you haven't, it's one of the best movies of all time in my opinion. John Hughes, may he rest in peace, was the man and he really knew how to make really good teen-aged movies, coming to age movies, so, uh, and just teen movies in general. So. But yes, The Breakfast Club, pick it up if you want a really good Blu-ray uh, edition, because this is the one to get. Uh, the next one I got was Nightcrawler. Awesome film. I watched this uh, the other night, and I absolutely love this movie. Um, and I'm so bummed out and just not happy that Jake Gyllenhaal got snubbed. Uh, if that's even the word, snubbed. Snub uh, yeah, that's probably not it. But he basically got ripped off when he didn't get nominated for an Oscar because I thought he gave such an excellent performance in this movie. And I think Rene Russo could have got Best Supporting act Actress, in my opinion. Uh, but this movie didn't get anything. It really did not. It got, like, one or two nominations, but nothing, like, major. And I was so disappointed in that. I think this movie deserved the Oscars. I don't know why it didn't get nominated. Um, I was not happy with the Oscars this year anyway. I think, you know, there are some movies that should have been nominated that never did, and this is one of them. But Nightcrawler, if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. Uh, the next one I saw, and I saw this movie in theaters. Really liked it in theaters. I thought it was a pretty good movie. But re-watching it, I loved it, and I was happy that I got it. And this was one that I was going to get... Uh, day one anyway, because I did like this in theaters, um, but I love it even more now watching it a second time and it's Into the Woods. Uh, great musical, uh, very entertaining. Uh, the acting and the actors are awesome in this film. You got a lot of great a, a lot of great actors, very talented actors in this. And uh, I was entertained from beginning to end. I love the movie, uh, especially watching it a second time. I absolutely love it. And if you haven't seen it yet, definitely check this out. It came out this past Tuesday, and this is just an awesome movie, in my opinion. Uh, the next two were um, Disney movies that I did not have on DVD. Well, I had one on DVD, but unfortunately during the, the last move, I had it, di you know, it disappeared uh, during the move. And so I wanted to upgrade it on Blu-ray. Uh, but the other one I did not have on DVD, and I had it on VHS, but um, never got it on DVD. So now I have these in a Blu-ray and DVD combo, and that is Hercules and Tarzan, two of my favorite movies. I uh, haven't watched Hercules yet on Blu-ray, but Tarzan looked great on Blu-ray, so I watched that last week. Uh, the next one I got, I got this for $4.99, and it came with the slipcover, and I'm so happy with that. Um, and it's Saving Mr. Banks. 
Haven't seen it yet, but I can't wait to watch it. I hear nothing but good things about it, and I love our two actors in this movie, uh, Emma Thompson and Tom Hanks. So Tom Hanks is one of my favorite actors, so wanted to pick that up. Uh, the next one I got, I had not owned this on Blu-ray, but uh, my friend Doug or Doug Lander about a year ago let me uh, borrow this movie because I had never seen it before. And I was so bummed for the longest time after watching it that the uh, older Blu-ray was out of print because I really wanted to get it because I loved the film. And uh, it was such a great movie, great musical. And they came out with the 50th anniversary edition and I picked up The Sound of Music on Blu-ray. Uh, great movie, love this film, uh, just very entertaining. I love the music, I love the actors in this. Uh, Julie Andrews is one of my favorite actresses. Just awesome. Mary Poppins, this, the Princess Diary movies. Um, she's been in plenty of other stuff, but those are the ones that I really know her from. Um, and I uh, love The Sound of Music, so I wanted to pick that up day one when it came out. Uh, the next one I got, this one, came, this one came out at the end of February, I believe. Um, but I just got this, uh, well, I got this at the end of February, but I didn't show it in the update. Um, and it is Horrible Bosses 2. Um, I know this movie got a lot of negative reviews, you know, some people said it's not as good as the first one, and I can agree with that, but I still loved it. I was laughing the whole time, I was entertained by this movie. For me, the first one's a little bit better, but they're up there together, in my opinion, um, and just really enjoyable, so, but, uh, Horrible Bosses 2, great movie, wanted to get this on Blu-ray, really happy with it, so glad I own it. Uh, the next one I got was Foxcatcher, and I got this in March when it came out. And again, this was one of those movies that I was just not happy with when it didn't get nominated for one Oscar. And that Oscar was towards uh, Channing Tatum. Uh, you know, Steve Carell got nominated for Best Leading Actor, and I thought he did a good job in the movie. But in my opinion, even though I love his work, I honestly don't know if I would have gave him a nomination. I think I would have gave that nomination to Tan Channing Tatum because this is by far his best acting role. Um, and he was the best thing about this movie, in my opinion. You know, I thought his acting was great, very emotional. You really cared about his character, what he had to go through. Um, and I just really felt bad for him. And I, and I love the chemistry between him and his brother, Mark Ruffalo, in this movie. I thought those two gave the strongest performances. I thought Steve Carell did a great job, but out of the performances, for me, Channing Tatum was the best one, and I was so upset that he didn't get nominated at all. Uh, I'm just really not happy with the Oscars this year. In my opinion, he gave the best performance, uh, just a really strong performance. Uh, but as for the movie, I thought it was great. Had some slow moments throughout it, but it was really good. I really enjoyed it, and it's definitely one uh, worth keeping in the collection and watching again. Some heartbreaking moments, some really sad moments and intense moments, especially towards the or especially at the end of the film. But I'm not going to talk about it if you haven't seen it yet. But this is based on a true story, um, and uh, you know, I just it was a great movie. Really enjoyed this. So Foxcatcher. Uh, the next one I got was an upgrade. I found this, one, found out this one out of print uh, a while back on Blu-ray, and it's one of my favorite '90s teen movies, and it's Can't Hardly Wait. Picked that one up on eBay. I got it for like sixteen dollars. You know, it's a little bit more than I wanted to get it for. Um, I think it was, I think it was twenty. But uh, this is out of print, and uh, it was the cheapest that I can get it, and it's one of my favorite films of all time. So I wanted to get this on Blu-ray. Love this film. Rewatched it last week. It's just, it's still good. Still good after all these years. So can't hardly wait. Love it. Uh, then I picked up the Leprechaun Gore or Leprechaun: The Complete Movie Collection with all the films, including Leprechaun Origins, which I watched that for the first time months ago, and I wasn't a fan of it. Um, I really only love the first three movies. Um, but this was such a good deal. I got this for, you know, $26, so I was really happy with that. And uh, it comes with all the movies, and so this is like seven movies here, and for that price, you can't beat it. And I hear there's some great bonus features on here, so I can't wait to dig into those, especially with the first three movies. Um, but I'm going to have a marathon and watch them all, even the ones that I thought were terrible, and just uh, see how they are now. So they're probably still bad, but... I think I'm just going to have a marathon and watch them all. 
But uh, yes, definitely worth owning, especially for the ones that I love, and I can't wait to watch these on Blu-ray. So, the Leprechaun Collection. Uh, the next ones I got last month, but it was towards the end of the month, and I didn't show them in an update, I don't think. Um, first one's Event Horizon. Uh, great movie in my opinion. Uh, one of the best sci-fi movies and one of the best 90s sci-fi movies. Uh, very underrated film in my opinion. I don't hear a lot of people talk about this, but I absolutely love it. I think it's great. It has some really creepy moments in the film. Definitely gets under your skin at times in my opinion. Um, and this is in my opinion Paul W. Anderson's best movie. You know, he did Mortal Kombat. You know, he's known for the Resident Evil movies. He's done some other stuff. Um, but this is his best movie in my opinion. Just well done, solid acting, great actors in this movie, great special effects for the 90s films, and uh, just an awesome film. So if you want to check out a really good sci-fi film that you haven't seen yet, check out Event Horizon. The uh, next one I got was an upgrade, and this is Predator 2. Uh, I am a fan of Predator 2. I, I love the first one. I really like the second one. Predators, you know, I got rid of my DVD copy of that. I'm not the biggest fan of Predators. It's good for one or two watches, but that's about it, uh, in my opinion. But um, I love the first two. I think they're just solid films, especially the first movie. I, I love the first one. Um, but this one gets a lot of hate, and I really don't get why. I thought they did a great job with it. Um, and it's one I wanted to upgrade to because this one has a lot, this one has bonus features on it that weren't on the standard bare bones release that I used to have. And it comes with a really cool slip cover, so I really like that. Underneath you just have the standard Blu-ray there. Um, but, uh, you know, when I ordered this in the mail, I did not expect to get the slip cover. And this is one of those Fox Connect slip covers that they released on movies, so just happy to have that. I love it. Uh, the next two are another upgrades, and it's Alien vs. Predator 1 and 2 in a double feature pack. They all come with uh, their own separate Blu-rays. Uh, the only downfall is they don't come with bonus features, which, you know, I'm okay with. I don't really watch the bonus features on the Alien vs. Predator movies. I think I've seen them once or twice. Uh, just happy to own them on Blu-ray. Uh, Rewatch the first one. Doesn't hold up as well. I used to really like it, and I know a lot of people used to hate it, and I always wondered why people hated it. Um, I don't completely hate it now, but I can understand why people don't like it. It's a good mo it's a good fun movie, um, but it's not great in my opinion. It has a lot of flaws. If I could remake Alien vs. Predators, I would. I, I would want to make it a darker R-rated movie. And that's why I really enjoy Alien vs. Wrecking One. Now, I know a lot of people don't like that movie, but I really enjoy the film. I think it's great. Um, it's a dark film. It's more gritty, in my opinion. Um, it's R-rated, which I think Alien vs. Predator should have been R-rated, but it, it wasn't. It was PG-13. Um, it does have the unrated version on there, and it has a little bit more gore than I remember. But uh, when I have to pick the two, which one I like be which one I like better, I like Requiem. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I really enjoy it. Uh, the first one, like I said, it's a good film, but it's not a great movie in my opinion. Like I, I used to think it was a great movie, and just kind of you know not as good as it used to be. So, but happy to pick this up. I got this for nine ninety eight nine ninety eight online, so couldn't beat the price. And the last three, I got some really good Blu-rays. Uh, and these were some really good prices. Got these at work, actually. Uh, the first one, I got Grudge Match. Got this for, not, I know, uh, $1.99, I believe. Great deal. Happy to get that. And uh, I really enjoyed this movie. I watched it a while back. Thought it was really funny, so I was happy to pick that up. Uh, the next two I got, I think these were like $4.99 each, but I really enjoyed these movies, and for the price, they were worth upgrading for. Um, and it's Winter's Tale. I know a lot of people didn't like this one, but I really enjoyed it. I didn't know much going into the movie, so for me, I, I wasn't hyping it. I wasn't going in with high thoughts or, you know, anything. So for me, this was kind of one of those movies I watched and really enjoyed it, even though I had no idea what it was about when I, you know, was starting to watch it. Um, but I really enjoyed it, and for the price I got it for, I was happy to get it. And the last one is one that a lot of people I don't hear talk about, but when they do talk about, they seem not to like it. 
Um, it just might be me. I was having great laughs watching this movie, and it's walk of shame. Um, I'm a big fan of Elizabeth Banks, and I thought this movie was really funny, so I wanted to get this one and pick it up for the price. So I upgraded it for my DVD copy. But anyway, guys, that is my update. Everything that I got from the last week of February up until now. Uh, I have, like I said, four other things coming in the mail. They will be in my next update. Uh, I'm not going to try to buy as much next month because there really isn't too, too much coming out. Um, there's some great Screen Factory releases that I might pick up, if not in May. Um, but I'm not going to try to get as much because this was a little bit... Uh, little bit crazy but uh you know these are movies that i just i really enjoy watching ones i wanted to upgrade upgrade to and ones that i wanted to get because i love them so there we are and here it is so i hope you guys enjoyed this update sorry if this was a long update but uh i'm gonna go guys so i hope you guys have a great weekend happy friday to you all uh enjoy the weekend have a great day and as always you guys are awesome you guys rock in with the positive out with the negative and go eat some Skittles, guys. All right. Bye, guys.